Greetings everyone, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be reviewing this product called Video Proc. It is from DigiRT Software and the website is listed in the bottom corner of this window here. You can also download this for free clicking on the link in the description below. So this software was introduced to me by one of my representatives and they wanted me to review this software so that you can see how this works. So this is Video Proc. It is a seamless editing software that allows you to do a lot and it has an easy user interface and it's made for beginners or even advanced video editors like myself. So we're gonna go through the features right now. And this is gonna be a longer video than what I normally do. So if you have any sort of questions, leave it in the comments below, or you can also leave time codes for people in the comments below to get to certain things, but they're also gonna be included in the description below. So first off, we're gonna start by clicking video processing. This is a toolbox where you can cut, trim, merge videos and convert them to 8K or 4K and different formats. So we're gonna click on this button right here and it gives us our interface here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a video here. So this goes to add video file to list. So we're gonna use a sample video here and we're just going to pick the one that I made yesterday. So then it loads the video really fast. And then it also shows all your information, like what type of codec it is for video, what type it is for audio, and there's no subtitles. And then it also has your information, resolution size, and the length, and then and it also gives you codec options. So you can click the codec options and you can edit all of your codecs here. This is all for people that know how to do this. So if you do not know how to do this, then you don't have to go through this whole process here. And then you can also click on edit video at the top where it shows the video there. And we are going to just go audio and video and we're gonna turn the volume down just so that you don't have to hear it. So we just turned the volume down and there's our video playback. So it shows the original on the left side, then it shows a preview on the right side. So then you can rotate your video. So let's say you have a smartphone and your video ended up vertical, but you wanted to rotate it. So then you just go rotate right, rotate right, until it's centered like this. So that's a really useful feature if you have a vertical video, which you didn't mean for it to be vertical. And then you can also flip it over as well. So you can do a horizontal or vertical flip like this. So we're gonna leave it like that right now so that you can see it's a different video. And then there's also an effects button where you can add what's called a negate effect. You can just go and click, I think you just click on it and then it appears. So let's see if we can add that. So we'll go done. And then it has a negate effect. So we're gonna go back to the options here. And then there's our negate effect. Okay, so it doesn't show a preview of the effect, I think. All right, let's just undo that. And then we're gonna add some noise to it. Then done. And then there's an arrow here that allows you to click up and down, listing videos. And then we're gonna go codec, back to edit video. Okay, so it allows you to add one effect at a time. So that I did not know about. They don't have a layering feature here, but it's still pretty good otherwise. Then you can also add subtitles to it. You can either add a subtitle file or search a subtitle file. That's what you can do. We don't have any subtitle files here, but you can add subtitles to this video. And then there's the cut feature. So the cut feature is really easy to use here. All you do is you just go to the portion that you want to cut. So let's say you want to go right here, and then you want to cut this part out. So you go here, and then you drag your arrow right there. Okay, so this is the play button. That's the play feature where it plays back your video there. And then this is the marker where you can cut it. So you can cut this part right here. So we just cut that part. It's pretty seamless, pretty straightforward to cut out certain things there. So that was a, that was a pretty good example of what we can do, cutting and all that stuff. Worked out really good. And then there's also a crop feature where you can crop the video and you go here to enable crop and then you go here to crop it however you like. 
And then you can also zoom in on the face there like that. And then the preview here shows what you've done. And then you can just play it back. And then it just returns to playing back. And there's the original. And then there's your edited portion. And then you can also add a watermark there. So we're going to enable watermark. And then we're going to just add something. Let's say Domingo. And then you can change the font by pressing the A. And then it should allow you to do custom fonts as well. So I'm going to try and use my favorite custom font here, Road Rage. Uh, yes, it does. That's really nice. I actually like that feature. And then you can adjust the size by doing this. And it's a free, free transfer. And there we go. So that's really nice. And you can also change the color of the watermark, I believe. Yes, you can. There's the colors there. Uh, okay, so it allows you to change it to different, I think, different colors. Okay, and then we resize it. There we go. So there's your watermark enabled for the video. And then you can also use an image as well. So we're going to add an image. Let's see this thing. So there's my image there, which is really nice. And then you can also and make a time code for it so that you can allow it to stay a certain way or you can just take it out altogether or you can just leave it on there and then we just go done and then your edits show up on the bottom here it shows the crop it shows the effects horizontal flip and then it asks you on the bottom here what formats it supports. So the format that we're currently using is a MP4 style format, H.264 codec. And then the target format shows output profiles. So general profiles, this is, it, it makes it simple to select what you want. And then you can also go music to select music profiles, MP3, and all the other audio formats. And then you can go Apple device, to iPhone, to iPad, to iPod, to Apple TV, to iTunes, to iDVD, apparently people use that still, to movie video, to Final Cut Pro video, to ProRes video. Okay, well that really works out. And then Huawei devices, Huawei Pad or Huawei Mobile. And then it has all your presets for all your Huawei devices. And then for the Huawei media pads. Okay, that's cool. And then to the Samsungs, you, you get the idea. It has different formats and it works for different things. And then you can also do it through your social media, such as your YouTube. So this is YouTube video. FLV is a smaller file size format and it uploads very fast, but it's a slow render. And MP4 is the best format that most YouTubers use to download or upload their videos with and this is what I normally use too and they use a Kodak and then this is for mp3 so let's say that we're done with it and we choose the FLV format and we then press done so it is in FLV and then we're using a hardware acceleration here our Nvidia and we're just gonna go use high quality engine and then D and Celeste you don't have to worry about that and then you can add the same thing to music. So whatever we did to video, we can also do to music as well. So then once you're done, you just press run. And then it'll convert the video. And it'll end in about 28 seconds. Okay, that was shorter than that. So there's my video right there. It'll save it into your video proc folder. And then we'll just play it. And then this is an FLV file. So we're just going to mute that. Let's just play it. So there is our edited file. We cut it, we added an effect, we added a watermark image, and that's our video right there. As you can see, it imported in a FLV format, which is really fast. So yeah, that's one way that you can produce videos at a smaller file size, but you can upload it faster. And it really works out that way. So we're just gonna close that. And then let's just go no. Let's just go yes there. Okay, so we don't have a DVD drive, so we don't have to worry about this. But they also have what's called a video downloader where you can download videos. So we're going to see that. Then you can add a URL to this box, and then you can click download now. 
and then you can log into your account so that you can save other things and then you can add video add music this just shows you how to add a video to download and then you can add music as well so YouTube so we're gonna analyze the link so this this video link will give us an analysis and it'll give us a download link so the update will finish here and then it's going to produce a link that you can click on so it's going to analyze the video link and then it'll give you the option to download it so it'll just take a little bit here to process that okay it, sh it should be along just a moment depending on the speed of your computer it takes a little bit there we go so it shows all the results here and then you can download the selected videos by clicking select all or you can just select one and download it there that sort of thing and then you can also download the full playlist if you have it selected so we're just going to stop for now and then we're going to close that so those are all the videos that we've seen and then you can also clear completed tasks and then there's promotional offers and then this is a video player to play back videos so we're just going to close out of this and then there's a screen recorder. Okay, so this comes with a screen recorder, which is really cool if you're planning on doing screen recordings like what I'm doing. I'm currently using Camtasia to record this, but I just wanted to show this to you so that way I wouldn't be able to conflict using the recorders. So it has here, you can record the screen. So it'll show the screen on your preview when you're here in order to show your screen and then your webcam will show up here so if you have your webcam enabled it will turn on and then it should work so this is the loading box here that it will show and then you can select your webcam it says here remove webcam background oh it has chroma key here okay that's really cool and then you can and then it has here screen and webcam where record screen while showing face cam and record webcam while showing the screen okay we currently can't do that right now because we're using the recorder to record it but if you have a webcam set up and a microphone set up then you can be able to record it so that in turn is a theory sorry that is it for this video this explains to you okay let's go to DVD so if you have a DVD drive you can load a DVD in and then you can choose the format and then you can run it to start a conversion so you can convert movie files from your disk to a file that you can watch on the computer and you can also convert it to ISO and burn it onto a disk and then you can take a disk and then find it in a find it in there or you can just go to the folder and select videos from there and then you can just clear out the tasks and it's the same thing it allows you to go to devices there's backups here and then for certain music files there's like a quick menu option down here that allows you to select them okay so that is video proc in a nutshell you can also download it in the description below to give it a try for yourself so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful and if you have any other questions at all leave a comment below have a great day, and we'll see you next time for another video.